Hello, my job today is to remind you how to work out simple percentages in your head. Anyone can work out the percentage of a quantity using a calculator, but quite often you don't have a calculator to hand when you need to work out a percentage and you want to do it very quickly. So here are the techniques. I guess the, uh, the easiest one is 50% because 50% means 50 out of 100, percent means out of 100, so 50 out of 100 is a half of something. So you can very quickly work out 50% um, of 18, that means half of 18, that's 9, or 50% of 12, that's half of 12, that's 6, or 50% of $35, that means half of $35. Well, 35 is an odd number, but half of 34 is 17, and half of $1 is 50 cents, so it must be $17.50. I always think the next easiest one to work out is 10%. As you can see, 10 out of 100, that's just one of the rows of people up there. So that's one tenth of the whole thing. 10% means one tenth, because there are 10 tens in 100. So 10% of 70, it's very easy to divide by 10. 10% of $70 is $7. 10% of five pounds, that's one-tenth of five pounds, that's 50 pence. Because five pounds is like 500 pence, so you're dividing 500 by 10, and the answer would be 50, 50 pence. 10% um, of 43 kilograms, well, dividing 43 by 10, we have the four that's representing four tens, and we have the three representing three ones. So if we divide both of those by ten, the three now doesn't represent three ones, it represents three tenths. And the four doesn't represent four tens anymore, it represents four ones. So the answer is 4.3 kilograms. Similarly, 10% of 59.12, divide it by 10, everything sort of switches to the next column, so the five tens become five ones. So that will be 5.912. So 59.12, divided by 10 is 5.912. And that's how to work out 10%. I guess the next easier is 25%, because 25 out of 100, that's like a fraction which cancels down to 1 over 4. So 25% means 1 quarter. And to find a quarter of something, you could halve it and then halve it again. So let's see. 25% of 16 is 4. You halve it and halve it again. 25% of 26 pounds. Well, half of 26 pounds is 13 pounds. Halve that again, 6 pound 50. And 25% of 500 kilometers, halve it and halve it again, is 125 kilometers. Okay, now one that's always a bit peculiar is what is a third as a percentage? Well, threes don't divide exactly into a hundred, so that's why this percentage is a bit peculiar. It's 33 and a third percent. That represents the fraction one third. So to find 33 and a third percent of something, you divide it by three. So, for example, 33 and a third percent of $15, divide it by 3, $5. 33 and a 
33 and a third percent of 78p. Divide it by 3, and that will give you 26 pence. 33 and a third percent of 5,172. Gotta be joking. No, I'm not. You imagine in your mind that you are dividing that number by 3. Put that bus stop sign over the top of the 5,172, then divide it by 3 bit by bit. 3 is into 5, goes one time with 2 left over. So that little 2 makes the next digit 21. And 3 is into 21 goes 7 times exactly. Then you go 3 is into 7, goes 2 times with 1 left over. That 1 makes the final number 12. So 3 is into 12 goes 4 times. So 33 and a third percent of... 5,172 is 1,724. Phew! So once you have those basics mastered, then there's lots of other little tricks you can make up for yourself for working out other percentages. So for example, if you wanted to find 75% of a number, find 50% of it first, then find 25% of it, and then add those two answers together. If you want to find 20% of a number, you find 10% first, that's very easy, dividing by 10, and then you double it. If you want to find 5% of a number, you just halve 10%. And if you want to find 66 and two thirds percent of a number, you double the 33 and a third percent fraction of it. To find 90% of a number, subtract 10% from it. To find 60% of a number, just add 50% and 10% together. To find 1% of a number, you divide it by 100, because 1% means 100th of the number. Then to find 2% of a number, you double the 1%. And to find 52% of a number, you add the 50 and the 2% of it. Now, you don't need to remember all of these tricks. You just make them up on the spur of the moment in order to solve the problems that you need to do. So let's teach you a few more tricks then. What about 48% um, of 25? Well, there's a real neat trick for this one because 48% of 25 is actually the same as 25% of 48. Because the way you actually calculate percentages, these figures are commutative. You can switch them around. So 25% of 48 is a lot easier to work out. 25% means a quarter. So a quarter of 48 is 12. Okay, so what about 24% of 1,800? Okay, so you could use one of these mental tricks to do it but I'll just show you very quickly how you would do it with a pen and paper. 24% means 24 out of 100. So you need to multiply, because the word of means multiply, you need to multiply 24 over 100 times 1,800. And you can make 1,800 in a fraction by putting it over one. And then you would multiply these as you would multiply fractions. But to save you some hard work with big numbers, you could actually cancel some of the numbers before you start. So look to see if any of the numerators and the denominators have a common factor. You can divide by those before you do the multiplication. I can see 100 goes into 1800 and it also goes into 100. So I'll do a little bit of cancelling there and then do the multiplying and get the answer quite easily. But of course, in this day and age, you probably will have a calculator with you most of the time because there's a calculator on most phones. So one little tip I've got for using the calculator is I have always managed to avoid using the percent button because I think it's healthier to think of percentage as being out of 100. So on a calculator, to work out 24% of 1800, I would do 24, divide by 100, 
and then multiply by 1800 in order to get the answer. Now, there are lots more activities on the Transom website to help you practice using percentages. So, go to transom.org, look at percentages, try one of these activities, and good luck. Don't forget to claim your trophy when you complete the activity. Thanks for listening. Bye. You can find Transom Mathematics at www.transum.org, where you're welcome to use all of the activities absolutely free, or jump in with both feet and become a Transom subscriber.